guys, this is a Glock 17 and it is time to clean it. I've had a lot of requests on how I clean handguns and I'm going to show you my routine doing this one right here. Uh, let's get going. I just got back from shooting, haven't had time to change with me uploading vids, editing, putting gear away. It's a nightmare of activity, trust me. And this is one of the things on my list to do today is get the cleaning vid knocked out. First off, this is my newly upgraded gun cleaning kit. Uh, for a long time I had a little tiny one and now with all the different calibers and the gun tests I'm doing, when I do loan a gun from a friend or an associate, I always like return it cleaner than I got it if possible. And uh, I'll just open this up, start fishing out the stuff I need for a 9mm handgun. Everything's organized according to uh, my brushes and I need that one and I need this one. What I do is I want to use two different 9mm brushes. You can do it for any caliber. I'll show you what I use that one for. That one's for just basically scrubbing the bore out. Two pistol rods, I use those. I don't really care what kind they are as long as they have a ball bearing on them or they swivel freely, good enough by me. And then out of here, I'm going to need a little shooter's choice. Grease, you might have your own favorite. This has worked for me. Uh, over the years, and I'm going to lubricate the slide rails with that. I need one of these little toothbrush scrubber, and that's it. There's a lot of other gun stuff, as you can see, that I have depending on caliber. I like storing some brushes up for future use. Tap with you, give it a shot in the bottom here so they can see. Sometimes, if the gun's really leaded, I will use this birchwood case. Uh, Birchwood Casey lead removal cloth. It works really good getting lead out of a bore. I know some of you guys have other ways of doing it. That's just what I've always used and it's worked good for me. Okay, closing that up. Now, when I start cleaning several guns, what I'm going to do is set up a ventilation. And you can see I have a fan in front of the window sucking all the vapors out. I always recommend that. We'll start with our safety check, taking the magazine out of the Glock 17. It's empty. Racking the slide several times. Safe direction. I pull the trigger and then I'll go ahead and field strip it. Basic components. This one right here, I just screw that on. This is going to be my rag brush and this is an old nine millimeter scrub brush proper caliber depending on what caliber you are cleaning and what I do I do not use a, uh, a jag a patch jag I hate those what I do is I'll soak a patch like this I actually want to cut that one in half where's my scissors over there I sometimes make my own patches, sometimes I buy them. These ones I bought, they're made of 100% cotton. I don't like any synthetic in my patches at all. This is just a little uh, Nalgene bottle filled with Hoppies number 9, which has always done me right. I have other stuff too. I got some Butch's Borshine here. I don't like it as much as Hoppies number 9 though. I tried it. I like just good old Hoppies. I soak the patch like so get my pistol rod with that un that 9mm brush and that one's kind of undersized because as I use it for patches it kind of squashes those bristles down. I'm cleaning it from the chamber end and I don't think this gun really is that dirty and honestly it's real easy to over clean your pistol guys. I don't recommend it but for demonstration purposes, I've opted to do this one. At this point, or some point, I'm going to go ahead and dip my brush in that Hoppies number 9. And the reason I'm using the lid is because I don't mind if I contaminate this small portion of Hoppies. That's okay. But I would never dip this brush into my container and put all those particulates in there. Not smart. Then I'll just clean this chamber area on the outside little bit under the locking lugs. Now you can use all kinds of different solvent to do this. These blue shop towels, by the way, are great. Get them at Walmart. 
or if you guys are uh, in different areas, there's a whole different bunch of places that sell them. All right, now I went ahead and swabbed that bore with that Hoppies number nine. Ideally, guys, you would swab it and leave it for a while, a couple hours, and you'll find that indeed it will break up the gunk in the barrel. After I've done that, I'll get my full size bore brush, phosphor bronze variety. I don't use stainless steel and I don't use plastic. These work the best. This is actually a military spec 9mm bronze bore brush. Go in a couple times. You don't have to get crazy with it. Then I'll swap out my patch rag. Rough side out. This particular cloth has a rough side and is kind of a flannel-like side. I like the rough side because it has more open pores to gather more gunk. By the way, I do, I've been doing it for so many years, I don't even think about it. Look how I twist that bore brush or that rag on as I pinch it and then rotate. And that creates a nice, tight, uh, you know, brush unit so I can put in the bore. Now you can see the gunk coming off of that. Most of that came from using my bronze brush. Okay, so I ran, I'll run it through again, and that'll loosen up some of the fouling in the bore. Now, if you're really anal, you can use some of that lead removal cloth that I showed you. Now, what I'm doing is cleaning the chamber. I'm just in the chamber area, rotating it, any gunk. And then... Had a couple more rags. Yeah, I could use these full size if I wanted, but you know, for cost, I like to maximize them. Spin that bad boy on. Rotate it a few times in the chamber area to clean that. Now I'm going to go point this up to the light here and just see what kind of cleanliness I'm getting. You can also use a flashlight. I have that in the cleaning kit, but if I have a, a lot of light available, I'll just use that. It's no big deal. One more time with the bronze bore brush, just to make sure. This is a lot softer metal than the forged barrel of a Glock and of mini pistols, so it should not damage the pistol. Always, if possible, take your handguns down when you're cleaning them. I do not recommend cleaning them from the bore if you have an option to take them down. Some guns you will have to do that with, kind of like a single action revolver. Now, and I'm not too worried about it, you know, I don't just say, oh, just one pass and then I take the, the bore brush out. Now, nah, screw that. It doesn't matter. I've got most of the particulates out of it and when I get this color, I'm getting pretty close to clean enough for me. I know I'm going to be shooting this gun soon, so I'm not going to spend like all night cleaning it to a level that's ridiculous. Now, if I'm going to carry a gun for defensive purposes or my duty gun, I make sure that thing's pretty clean and pretty lube, pretty much to the level I'm going to show you here. To me, that's clean enough. Now, some of you guys may say that, oh, that's not clean enough. Well, I think you can go overboard. You know, if you're selling the gun or take, you know, just really worried about it, then yeah, take every little bit of fouling out of the gun, but I think it's ridiculous. Now what I'll do is soak one of these cleaning patches with some Poppies number nine. I'll go over the entire bore with it. Like that, concentrate, I'll spin the muzzle on it. And once again, in the chamber area. Okay, then I'll wipe the whole barrel down with a blue towel. Wish we had music playing. Normally I do have music playing, but YouTube is so freaking anal about copyright, I can't play anything. I always got music going in reality. Okay, so there you go. That's a clean barrel. I'm going to lubricate that, of course, before I put it together. I'll show you that. Now, what I do, even though this barrel is you know, covered with anti-rust, uh, I think that's tenor for coating on a Glock. I'll run a little rim oil patch through that. The way I do that is here my, here's my rim oil. I showed you guys this in my knife care video. 
I glue them onto a little piece of masonite, squirt some rim oil on a patch like that, spin it into the chamber area it goes, and I recommend doing this with pretty much all your barrels if you don't plan on shooting them for a while. That way you have a nice little rim oil coating in there. Onto the slide, time to refill my cap, dip my brush. When I clean, this is important, when I clean this portion right here, this is the firing pin area in the Glock, I'm going to keep the, uh, the slide pointed down. I'm not going to clean it like this so where gunk falls into that firing pin channel. You with me? You got a good shot of that, yeah. T? So, this is what I'm talking about. That way, and if a little bit gets up in there, don't sweat it. But just don't turn it the other way. It's just not smart. You don't want to fill that firing pin channel with all kinds of debris that can cause problems. Blue towel, wiping it out. You can kind of see how I scrubbed under the hood there a little bit. Now what you can do, this Glock is relatively new. It still has some of that copper colored factory lubricant on it. But I'm going to go ahead and clean this channel out because that shooter's choice works really good. I know a lot of guys say, I'll oh, leave that copper stuff in there. That's factory lubricant. Yeah, it's going to shoot out sooner or later anyhow. And, you know, if it's mixed in with all kinds of fouling, I just soon get it out and replace it. Now, I'm not going to scrub this part out. I'm going to leave that in as long as I can. But all my slide rails, you bet, I'm going to clean that right now. And then get your blue towel and just clean inside there using your finger. I'm trying to go as expeditiously as I can. Don't worry about wiping the exterior of a Glock down with oil. You're wasting your time. It's a kind of a Tenefer Teflon finish that you just don't have to worry about that with. Okay, now I need to get inside that channel to get all that um, Poppy's number nine out of it. Let me go back to my cleaning kit. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use a screwdriver. Don't fret. I ain't scratching nothing. Just use a little bladed screwdriver like this. Fold. Fold. Like that. And then run that inside there. Because I'm getting ready to lubricate it. I don't want any Hoppies number 9 in there. Right? Because it's going to like break down the lubricant if I do that. One thing I don't have is my compressor set up for shooting that Duracoat so I don't have the attachment on it. Normally I'd have compressed air here to blow stuff out. That really helps. You don't have to have it though. It's just kind of nice to have. And normally I'd blow that channel, that channel out too. Okay, I lied. I actually did just hook up the compressor because I wanted to use it. Also in that channel of the slide, these gun swabs are really nice to have. You jam them in there, clean all that gunk out. Did most of that. I'll join these clips together by the way. This isn't boring for you guys, but a lot of guys have asked me for this, so sorry if it is. I think most of the experienced shooters would probably know how to do this, but okay. So that's the the face of the slide for the firing pin channel. That's nice, cleaned under the extractor there. That's all clean. So that's clean enough right there. Now let's go on to the slide. By the way, that's why I use cardboard. See, I just dumped that. You can see it happen many times before. That way you keep your workbench clean.
A Glock, actually, guys, honestly, you do not have to clean very often. Uh, like, hardly ever, if you don't want to. Bugget Nuster never cleans his. It's always dirty. And guess what? It always functions. Never seen it jam. I got other associates, same way. They just don't clean them. Uh, now, if it's duty gun, again, I get back to that. If your life is going to depend on your firearm, it's wise to have it in peak operating condition. I am a big fan of that, so I don't mess around. My duty gun is always spick and span when I'm carrying it. Fully lubricated, ready to rock and roll. However, if you're going to the range like all the time, which currently seems to be the case in the Nut and Fancy project, sometimes it's a waste of time to clean your Glock. SIG cleans a little bit differently. You got to slide, you know, I've shown you guys. Actually, I don't know if I did on camera or not, but it's easy enough to take down. I might show that separately. Probably won't though. Okay, let me blow that out now. Clean enough. Okay, now we get to lubricating the slide rails. I got my shooter's choice high tech grease. And don't go crazy on this, guys. Just a little bit. Let me wipe this off. Still got some gunk right there. About like this. Again, this is my technique. Your mileage may vary, but I'll tell you, I've used it for years and it works like a champ. A lot of controversy in how much to lubricate the Glock. Most people say don't lubricate it very much at all. What you're seeing is my philosophy. Now, if you're in a dusty environment, I'd still lubricate it the same way. Just clean it. Clean it a little more often. Change that lubricant out once in a while. Now we take this. Now I'm going to bring in a different lubricant in. I'm not going to use rim oil on the barrel. I like something a little bit more viscous. I don't get wrapped up in lubricants, nor should you. Break free is fine. I know a lot of guys like the Militech or whatever. This is, works just fine. I'll put some lubricant around the barrel like that. A little bit in the locking lugs. Then I'll wipe it down a little bit. I don't want too much on there. It's about right. Into the barrel or into the slide it goes. Here's a captive recoil spring. What do I do with that? Nothing. I don't do anything with that. Once in a while I'll put some rim oil on it, but I'm not this time. This is a new, newer Glock. Okay, there you have it. That is a clean top end on a Glock. We have our lubricated slide rails with shooter's choice. Function check. You'll always get that grease running out the back of the slide as you've spread it around within the channel of the slide. Magazines. This one is a range mag. It is kind of dirty inside. I'm not going to show you how to take it down. You just take the floor plate off, get your hoppies number nine, Wrap a blue towel around your brush, get up in there, scrub out the residue and stuff, then wipe it clean, clean, don't lubricate it inside, put it back together, maybe a little bit of rim oil on the spring, but that's not even necessary. Voila. Clean it a Glock, nothing fancy. That's all there is to it. See you later. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the good ratings.